Okay, so next we're gonna do this full gas mask. I kind of want to give it almost like a fallout look. So in order to do that, um, I'm gonna find a bunch of random stuff, hot glue it on, and uh, paint it all uh, to make it look good. Anyway, uh, let's go find some random stuff to glue on this guy. Let's see, what do I got around here? Um, no, no, sandbags. Oh, oh here we go. Yes! Something like this. Anything in here? Hmm. Uh. Oh gosh. A 9 volt battery, maybe? Let's try my garage. Mm. Ooh, these look promising. Nah. Nah. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I just lost it. It's gone forever now. These random boxes seem promising. Oh, and very heavy. Oh, God. Oh, guys. We have hit the mother load of random things. Yeah, maybe one of these. Or maybe uh, one of those. Oh, definitely a couple of these. Oh, these are... Oh, my gosh. Okay, so now that we have our supplies that we're gonna use to kind of glue onto this mask and decorate it, I'm gonna put it off to the side for a second and take off the tag. That's the first step. Next, I'm actually going to paint this later, so I'm gonna mask off anything I don't want to get painted, which is basically just uh, these guys right here. I'm gonna go in with my X-Acto knives and just kind of clean them up a little bit. Should just easily come off. There we go. Miss a spot right here. That looks better. That should do. Then I'm gonna get some of this tubing from my fog machine and attach it to like these parts of the mask, or maybe even this part. I kind of like the idea of having it here. Just have it go through the forehead. I think I'm gonna have one tube come out and then maybe put something at the bottom here. That's even a little long. Yeah, let's do this. Ooh, I just found these tubes as well. I kinda wanna have one like go to a forehead and then come down to the mouth. I don't know, just have it go in and out all sorts of crazy places. Go ahead and glue it right on there. So I actually went back and cut the tube at sort of like an angle when it sits on the mask. It sits nice and flat, just like that. See, you gotta re-glue this in place. It's not too bad. Uh, let's do the other side now. Very nice. Ooh, I like that. This kind of looks like a thing. Or maybe something like this. Boobity boop. Can we take this weird bolt nut thing and I'm gonna attach it to this garden hose attachment for you to turn it on and off. But it doesn't look like it'll fit this way, so I'm gonna have to cut this. A little screw right here. I'm gonna try using my little Dremel tool. So I decided I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way. What am I doing wrong? I didn't clamp it down good enough. This is one resilient screw. And it flew off. But, you know what? Mission accomplished. So we took that off. Go ahead and apply a bunch of hot glue to this. And then we add our little guy. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue all around that. Just to make sure it stays on. Put a little bit of hot glue on this part. Then we shove this right in there. Oh gosh, it's falling apart. Oh! This whole thing is just a representation of my life. Oh my gosh. Falling apart every minute. Now I'm gonna hot glue this weird pipe thing onto the mask right here. Yeah, that's nice and on there now. Next, I'm gonna add these little knobby guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them kind of right here. And to do that, I'm simply just gonna drill a hole and kind of just stick them in. There we go. Now the other one. Looking pretty good. Then I got this kind of turning knob thing. I thought this would be fun maybe off to the side over here. Get that back on. Now I'm gonna take whatever the heck this is and combine it with whatever the heck this is. Hot glue that right on. We're gonna stick this right on his forehead. I think we're all set to paint. So before I start painting, uh, these guys just keep falling off. So I think I'm just gonna put these on afterwards. You know what would actually be easier than trying to hot glue these on? Drilling a hole and just sticking the tube in there. And now I'm gonna take them back out because I actually want to uh, maybe put some green stuff in these. Make it look like there's green liquid going through this guy's face. And now we finally get to painting. So a lot of the fallout masks that I'm finding uh, are kind of like silver like this. I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of silver and this gold paint and maybe a little bit of brown so that I get kind of like this uh, metal shade. Mix, mix, mix. So I think that's kind of what we're going for. Here we go. Whoa! 
Oh, I already like this color. Now I'm gonna go in and carefully paint this uh, tube thing, kind of like this goldish brown color. And while this is drying, I'm gonna put it off to the side, and we're gonna fill these guys up with some green liquid. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I'm hoping that it will just peacefully go through. Just tap that down so it just goes all the way through the tube. Yeah, it's perfect. Now if I could conserve some of this and put it in the other tube, that would be great. Now I'm gonna let these dry for a little bit. I'm gonna wipe them off so that all this green stuff isn't on the outside of the tube. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tape. Then I'm gonna take a red Posca pen, flip this bad boy over. I'm gonna fill this in with red. Yes! And I wanna fill in the yellow on the filters. So I feel like this mask actually looks a little too perfect, so I'm gonna paint it a little bit more. But I'm gonna mix some silver and black together. And there we go! But there's one more step. And now it is to add his little slime tubes. Boobity boo. And a boobity boo. And I'm all done. Now let's try it on. Low key, I just noticed this. It kind of looks like Ant Man. I mean, it's not that far off. Maybe I should make an Ant Man costume next time. It definitely has potential. Anyway, let's try it on. I literally can't see. I scratched a little bit of the paint out of the eyes. Kind of helped my vision. So this is what it looks like, and this is what it started as. I think it looks really cool. It's not very comfortable to wear. Down in the comments, let me know what you guys think about it. I'm curious to know uh, if you guys like it or not. 